Hello, I'm George Cairns and I've just got hold of a copy of Photoshop Elements 14 which was released today on Friday the 25th of September 2015 and there's a few new toys to play with in Elements 14 and I'm going to start off by showing you one of the new guided edit modes to add motion blur or speed effects to a photo. I'm going to take this as a start image because although there's some motion blur on the bat there, we could add some more blur to this guy here to make it look more dynamic and action packed as he's running into the frame. So here I am in the organizer. I'm going to go straight to the editor and launch the image in Photoshop Elements Expert Editor. And up here, we've got the guided edit mode, which has been redesigned to make it easier to understand what each guided edit does. For example, you've got a before and after there for a picture stack. You've got one here for out of bounds. That's giving you the original and then the edited version. And you can see old fashioned photo there before and after. So you can just drag to see a comparison there. And one of the new guided edits, which I quite like, is in the fun edit section, this one here. And it's called speed effects. You can see the before, no blur, the after, lots of blur. I'm not too convinced by their example here. It's a little bit too over the top with the motion blur there. And there's not blur added to the hand over here. So it would be more equally blurred. So what I'm going to do is do a version using my source image. So let's click to add a speed effect to our source image. And as this is a guided edit, it does what it says on the tin and takes you step by step through the tools you need to create the motion blur effect. And you can start by just clicking here to see the before, moving away to see the after to get an idea of the kind of effect you're going to create. Then the first step here is basically saying click on the quick selection tool icon here. There we go. And then we're going to add to the selection and we can just click and spray over the area that we want to add the blur to. So I'm spraying over the boy like so. And because we're using add, we can add the other leg as well by clicking and spraying. I'm not too worried about the hands and the back because there's blur there already. And if you make a mistake, you can always click here and subtract bits from the selection. When you're ready, you can click on add speed effect and that instantly gives you a motion blur effect. Now it's blurring in both directions at the moment, but we're gonna modify that in just a tick. You can increase or decrease the effect by clicking here. Increase just basically makes it more solid. Decrease makes it more transparent. And since there's a lot of rather solid blur on the ball here from the camera's shutter speed blur, I'm going to increase the blur a little bit like so. And then what we need to do is adjust the angle if need be. But because the boy is shot from side on, the angle should really be in a nice straight line. So I'm just going to drag this back to a horizontal line like so. Let's scroll down and have a look at the next section. It's saying we can change the focus area to say where we'd like to remove the blur effect. So click here. And this basically enables you to click and drag. And it's kind of a brush based effect that enables you just to remove some of the blur from these areas here. It's a bit like a graduated adjustment and we don't really want the blur in front of the boy because he's actually running from left to right. So I'm just going to click and spray until we get a nice gentle removal of the blur at the front here like so. There's other ways to remove blur as well but that's a good starting point. I could always try a little bit on here just to try and reduce the blur on this side as well because it's a little bit too long and that's beginning to take shape now. And finally, we've got the refine effect option here. So click here and let's scroll down to see the tools on offer and let's click subtract from the effect. We can reduce the opacity, increase the brush size and then gently spray to remove some of the blur at the end here. I'm using a larger brush tip here. I'm just gently clicking with my brush base tool to take down some of the opacity of the blur and the secret to a good motion blur effect is to make it a little bit more subtle than you'd first like to. I'm going to use the left square bracket to go for a smaller tip and just remove some of the blur between his feet here. So it's just blurring from both legs like so. So it's a little bit less computer generated. I'm going to remove the blur from the front of this foot as well, just because the blur is falling behind him and not in front of him. So there we have our guided edit mode to create a speed effect by simulating in-camera motion blur. And the nice thing about this is if you're new to Photoshop and you're using Photoshop Elements, you can still go to the expert mode and you can see that we're going to end this session here. So I'm just going to save the guided edit by clicking save. And then the changes we've made will be apparent in the layers palette. Here's the original photo. We've got a separate layer showing the blur effect. And you can see the layer masks that we created using the tools in the guided edit mode, basically spraying black on the layer mask has enabled us to hide some of the blur effect and fine tune the way it shows up. So that's a good starting point if you want to get to grips with filters and layer masks, for example, and you can then build on your skills and eventually start to create effects like this from scratch using 
expert mode in Photoshop Elements 14.